how noisy is this old chair about to be? We have to hurry because my hair is gonna explode out of this low bun that it's in. Look, why did my package have to come beat up? I know everything is gonna be okay inside, but the nerve. This is an unboxing of a purchase that I made, what, a week ago? Less than a week ago. Here's the footage from that while I open the box. Am I sitting in the dark? Yes. It was raining. I wanted to be one with the rain. It's 2.57, cloth and paper, happy hour. Starts in just a few moments. If anybody asks, I'm working. I have my afterpay open. I have my cloth and paper cart active, ready to go. The crystal clear inbox planner dashboard. It's in stock, I'm getting it. No sticky notes. Okay, things are popping up already. We have two minutes though. I'm gonna put the vanity organizer. I'm only gonna get one. Ooh, do we want the contoured? Or do we want the smooth caviar? I feel like the contour would look great on my bookcase. Yeah, I think that one would look nice. Okay, my cart is stacked up, ready to go. A code, who has the cloth and paper code? I need it now. Come on, come on, come on. I need a code. Do I have any rewards I can use right now? Okay, it's time, it's time, it's time. Continue, after pay. Come on, who you on right now? redirecting the afterpay. My afterpay is already signed in. Please don't play with me right now. Okay, we can pay that. We can do that. Order placed. We got the goods. Okay, back to work. I hope you enjoyed that because I was panicking. Look at it. The glass inbox, A5 of course. That is where my heart lives. But I know that's not why you're here, but I mean, let's just humor me, okay? All right, we have our standard receipt as well as a card in here that says aesthetic. Ooh, the organizer or divider, separator, whatever you wanna call it. This is the vanity case felt organizer. Um, this is the packaging, it's very secure. It's not collapsed. I thought it would be collapsed just to save on space, but I guess there was no need for that. And I'm showing you everything as it comes packaged in the box so that you are aware. Ooh. This is packaged in a way that reminds me of a fitted sheet. Is this not giving you fitted sheet vibes? Pillowcases, like a nice set of sheets. I'm not mad at that. I feel like that's very compact. Um, and that's the box. All right, Ashley, this is okay. We get it. It's secure. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, yeah. This reminds me of my felt pocket that I have from another company. Notice how I'm not saying that name because this video is dedicated to cloth and paper. It's very nice. You see that? Oh, is this a possibility? Are people doing this? Can this go in there like that? I mean, why not? What if you only need one? I only ordered one because I felt like the ideas that I have for the vanity case, it wouldn't call for all of that to be filled with organizers. I'm excited about this because I've wanted a in quite a while but I couldn't find one that fit my personality. You know what I mean? Are my hands clean? Just trying to make sure nothing's on my hands. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. We've got a little cardboard residue here. But here is the dust bag. I'm trying not to touch it with too many fingers just in case, but here we are. It feels very soft. Which one did I get? Obviously, you know, because of the title. Let me stop yelling at you. Okay. Oh! What's that from? Anyway. Okay, oh! Um, hmm. Huh. Mine is a bit, mine's a bit dented. Do we see that? I 
I think I would have to send this back. I'm going to take pictures of this because I'm not feeling the vibes. I'll be back. What I don't want is my hair to be a distraction when we are here to do a part two. Yes, I am wiping off my hands of any kind of anything. I don't want anything getting on that dust bag, so let me double check, triple check, okay? I'm not trying to do a part three of a first impressions, okay? The box arrived not too long ago, like two, three hours. The things you saw on top of my box were things that I already planned on showing you for size. You know what I mean? We're going to reopen the first impressions, but now we are looking to make sure that the package isn't damaged. The box is intact. As you remember, the first box was a little bit damaged. This is not a number associated with me that I know of. The box is intact. We like this. Oh, the thank you for shopping with us, the coupon code, and if you need assistance, everything is there. What I will say, when I sent them an email about the discrepancy, I got an email back within less than a day, actually. And then within that same span of time, I got the return label even before they sent it out because they were prepared for me to return the item. And they gave me a two-day return label. So... Here it is. Doesn't feel lumpy and bumpy. See, see, I don't even trust myself. Same thing with the planner inserts. When you get your monthly inserts from cloth and paper or from any planner accessory company, it's like by the time you touch your yearly inserts, you're like, there was makeup on my hair, wasn't there? Now it's all over my May of 2022 inserts. And in order for me to replace that, I need to buy a complete year again. Or put a sticker over it. You know, whatever. One dust bag. That's all I have. So. Round two. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The back. We've got the contoured leather. I wanted this one because my planner is the caviar. And I knew that my planner wouldn't be able to fit in this. So I wanted something with a little bit more character. My planner reminds me of the Yves Saint Laurent handbag. And we've talked about this in that particular video. I don't have any Louis Vuitton items, but this reminds me of a vanity case from LV. And if you know it, I think it's like the PM, I don't know, Louis. <laughs> But anyway, they have one, and it reminds me of that with the shape itself. Go ahead and open it. How's the zipper? The zipper is very secure, very sturdy zipper. I'm putting a little oomph into it with one hand. Now, what I said in the part one of this video is that the zipper itself is more of an antique gold. Because of the lighting, you can't really tell. But when I do other shots in natural light, you'll be able to see that the zipper is more of a, a natural or antique gold. Whereas the tassel part here, this is uh, more of a yellow, yellowish green gold. I don't really know what type that would be considered. We know that this is not a true gold, obviously, but the plating is of a different color. And the same thing with the uh, sides here, closer to the zipper than what is on the tassel. But I just wanted to point that out if you cared about that. I don't know if people care about that, I do. All right. Okay, so the, hmm. The strap is smooth. I, I'm not sure if I thought the strap would match the vanity case. On camera, it doesn't look oddly different, but it is more of that smooth pebble, kind of, that pebble 
strap versus the contour. I think it complements each other quite well, especially since the strap is not going to be on top of the bag. It's going to be on your shoulder. Now for me, I'm busty, so I don't plan on cross bodying this whole situation because I do plan on using this more as decor on my bookcase in my office and I will only take it out for certain things. But if you would like to know how I plan on using the vanity case, that is another video and you can, you can tell me in the comments. I'm nosy, let me know. How are you gonna use it? With this plastic, did we decide as a group how we're taking this off? I don't know if we decided as a collective how we're taking this plastic off the strap, but okay, well. I cut mine. What did you do? I don't know if we, we talked about that. Inside we have the one zipper pocket at the top. So on the top part of the vanity case, you have a zipper. Let's see what fits inside of it. It is a tight squeeze. I will say that. Let's go ahead and use my, my hub. Let me see if the hub is too thick for it. It will fit in there. It, there is a lot of space. So let me explain. There is quite a bit of space in this compartment. Now, what I wasn't expecting is this peekaboo pocket here. So there is a pocket in front of the zipper part. So lots of storage even at the very top. I feel like I didn't see that on Instagram when you showed us, Ashley. Sneak attack. So now we are in the body of work. Here we have one zipper pocket and we have the logo there. This is more of a shallow pocket. So I would say if you have a minimal wallet, you can maybe put that in there for safekeeping. And then of course you flip it. And on this side, can you see that? Here you have multiple card slots. You can keep your money in the zipper part here and you can keep your cards, license, anything like that down here. It doesn't have a billfold. So that's why I was saying you can put dollars and change in this part or even up here. So it fits in there quite nicely. Let's take this off, okay? It's mine now. I'm not returning this. So here it is. Of course, after you've put things inside of it, it will um, take better shape. But let's go ahead and talk about how big these areas are. Here is my Beats case. I love black. I love black and gold. I love black and white. Uh, so might be a little bit difficult for you to see a lot of the things, but work with me on this, okay? So in here, um, it, it can fit with other things as well. So portable charger that I got at work for some random reason years ago, that can fit. Um, if you are carrying your phone or whatever, these are actually lens wipes. Those can fit in here. I don't know if you're wondering size. Yes, this is a spray on degree deodorant. I'm just here to give you size reference. So for size purposes, it fits with lots of room back here. Camera battery charger. It fits nicely in this organizer as well. For my planner girls. You know, here is my pen case and mob liners. This is mine. Uh, it's actually the Smart Fit. I will have it linked down below if you care. But this can also fit in here as well. Again, no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting this stuff in here. I just wanted you to have an idea of what can fit, what can't fit. Favorite notepad. Let's put it back here. So I have it tucked away there. My pen case can still fit. What cannot fit? Come here, babes. Can't fit. Let me show you the vanity case just in its glory. And then if you wanna see another video of what I put inside of it, just leave me a comment, let me know down below. But I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of the vanity case. I do plan on using this quite a bit. I already love it. Of course, my initial reaction was in part one. I'm excited to have it and I can't wait to take it with me when I'm out and about. But yes, let's go romanticize the vanity case, shall we?